updates that Turkey is making to the TCG on a Dolaway aircraft carrier to be able to deploy drones and fighters on it. Defense industry experts focus only on Turkey. And also in different countries around the world they focus on Turkey in this industry. Developments regarding plans to deploy drones and combat aircraft on the Turkish aircraft carrier TCG on Adolu have become one of the most interesting topics in the field of national defense industries in Turkey. She found herself forced to work extensively to find alternative plans. In light of the continuous fluctuation in the behavior of the United States, is Turkey turning the light aircraft carrier Anatolia into an aircraft carrier? Will Turkey have the world's first aircraft carrier dedicated to drones? In this video, we will show you everything related to the Turkish aircraft carrier TCG on the Dolu. But first, do not forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. The Turkish defense industry's efforts to manufacture a domestic aircraft carrier are accelerating. As preparations continue for the delivery of a multi-purpose amphibious assault ship, it is the largest in domestic manufacturing. The most prominent projects that Turkey is implementing or intending to implement with local capabilities. It is part of Turkey's vision to become a great power. Aircraft carriers are not one type, but can include several types with different specifications and capabilities. The warship TCG on Adolu is known to the public as an aircraft carrier. However, the project was initially planned to be an amphibious landing ship, then runways were added for the takeoff and landing of WAVs and armed drones. He indicated that the ship had been lowered into the sea. The equipping and armament work has reached advanced stages and is expected to enter service soon. The ship TCG on Adolu was supposed to carry the fifth generation of F-35 fighters on board. However, the United States removed Turkey from the program against the background of Ankara's purchase of the Russian S-400 air defense systems. And in the aftermath, Turkey's defense military industries has announced that it will replace U.S. fighters with domestically made drones. Turkey says that the aircraft carrier TCG on Adolu will be able to carry between 30 to 50 indigenously made drones. They can be controlled in groups. Consists of at least 10 aircraft through this ship's command system. Turkey is preparing to launch the Bayraktar TP-3 rally during 2022. It has vertical takeoff and landing techniques. Imposed on aircraft engaged in the production of its own aircraft. Anatolia is one of the largest ships owned by the Turkish forces. It is an offensive amphibious, which will make Turkey one of the first 10 countries that manufacture its warships. Anatolia is 232 meters long, 32 meters wide, 30,000 tons and 58 meters high. It consists of 11 floors of different areas. The Turkish aircraft carrier can carry 30 aircraft including helicopters, fighters and drones. It includes six airstrips and an airstrip, as well as for transporting ground military vehicles. It is expected that Turkey will allocate one of these ships to the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NADO, and about the features of the Turkish aircraft carrier Anatolia. The ship in its missions does not need to rely on the support of the main bases, and can sail in all the seas of the world. And on board the ship Anadolu, which is being built by a thousand people, it will have three military operations centers. The ship and its combat mechanisms begin their mission. It is expected to be able to accommodate at least 1,232 workers. One of the most important characteristics that the Turkish ship will have. The possibility of using it as a military hospital with a capacity of 30 beds. It provides medical services to more than a thousand people, as well as operating rooms, radiology, intensive care units, burns and dental units. It can also be used in humanitarian and relief missions. The Turkish army ranks 11th in the world. In terms of its naval forces, it possesses 149 naval vehicles, including 10 corvettes, 16 frigates, 12 submarines, 35 patrol boats in addition to 11 naval mine equipment. 
and in recent years. Turkey has made great strides in the field of defense industries in all its fields. In a move to enhance self-sufficiency and independence on the outside in this field. In a related context, Turkey launched the Milgem project years ago. It is a project of the Turkish army that aims to meet its needs for warships. Within the framework of the Amalgam project, Turkey has built four warships so far. It bears the names of the Princess Islands and the Sea of Marmara, which are the ships Buyukata, Hibaliata, Bergasada and Ada Canal. Turkey also continues to work on completing the construction of the fifth ship within the framework of the Amalgam project. It is the first frigate of the Istanbul class as an extension of the Ada class corvettes. He explained that the local Turkish defense industry companies have the capabilities and ability to manufacture unique ships in the world at competitive costs. Turkey has taken an important new step in the integration project. Turkey has announced a tender for the construction of the 6th, 7th, and 8th ships. It is scheduled to be delivered as soon as possible to the Turkish armed forces and with a higher domestic manufacturing rate than other ships. Turkey continues its efforts to meet all the needs of the army and security forces. Using the latest technologies to achieve the goal of complete independence of Turkey in the defense industries. As part of the project, ships will be produced for reconnaissance and observation missions. In addition to target detection and identification, early warning missions, defense of military bases and ports, anti-submarine defense, warfare above sea level, air defense, amphibious operations and patrols. The three ships will be equivalent to the fifth ship delivered. Except for systems that need to be developed, improved, and localized. The project also aims to increase efficiency and expertise and improve the level of necessary infrastructure. In the field of building warships in private shipyards. Support and development of local defense industries. In your opinion, does Turkey have the world's first aircraft carrier dedicated to drones? Will the Milgem project, which was launched years ago, succeed? Is there any information we didn't mention? Write it down in the comments. Here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.